Hello Itsy Bitsy Builders, welcome to another Cricut Mini Tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make mini glasses in four styles using a Cricut machine. I've got these cute purple glasses, Harry Potter style glasses, some sunglasses, and some Ray-Ban style glasses with a mirror finish. Let's start with our Harry Potter glasses. Open Cricut Design Space and head on over to the Images tab and then we're going to type glasses into the search bar. Now all of the glasses we're going to use in our project come from Cricut Design Space so it's a really easy project to complete. We're looking for the Harry Potter style over there on the right hand side. Click on it and insert it onto your canvas. So to miniaturize our glasses, I googled the dimensions of a full scale pair of glasses. Then I entered that width and the scale I wanted to convert into our trusty inch calculator. And I got 2.2 centimeters, which is 0.866 inches. Then go back to Cricut Design Space and enter 2.2 into the width. I'm going to cut the glass part from acetate and then create two frames for the glass to sit in between. One of the frames I'm going to cut from black cardstock and the other one I'm going to use craft board to give it a bit of structure. So to create the second frame, let's create a square and we're going to resize that. Make it a little bit smaller so that it covers just the frame area. And before slicing anything, be sure to create a duplicate of your glasses and drag the square over so it's just covering the eyeglass area. Highlight both objects and then go to the bottom right hand corner and click slice. And what this will do is it will cut the little frames out of the wider image. So you're just left with the frame. So we've got this tiny little piece in the right hand corner there. So I've just created another square and sliced that out. Now we're gonna make the glass pieces and you can either do this by creating a circle or I've used the contour tool. When it loads, you can see all of the components that exist on that image and just select the two glass areas and click off that. And it will create two little glass pieces there. And I'm going to color the pieces blue so that Cricut places it on a separate mat. We also need to make the glass pieces slightly bigger than the holes that they'll sit in so that we can glue them down in between. Although I'm doing 1 6th scale for this project, you could definitely create a 1 12th scale version too. You just really need to think about the materials you're going to cut with because it will be very, very tiny. So we have our black cardstock for one set of the frames. And then I've used some craft board with black shiny vinyl stuck on top. and I'm using this clear acetate for the glass area. So we're going to start with the craft board piece because it's a little bit firmer and I've used this dry clear glue tape to place some glue for the glass pieces to sit on. Then using a fine tipped glue bottle, we're going to apply a very small amount of glue so that we can stick the cardstock piece down on top. And just position it in place so everything is overlapping nicely. Then to attach the arms, you're going to bend about two to three millimeters from the top of your arm and then apply some glue very lightly and affix that arm onto your glasses. Once the glue dries, you can bend the arms inwards like so. Lastly, I coloured in any craft board areas with some black texture. And our Harry Potter glasses are done. Our next pair of glasses are these purple bold frames. Again, under images in Cricut Design Space, we're going to type glasses. And this one is actually available in there. If you scroll down, it's in the middle. We're going to insert that onto our canvas. And I took the arms from the Harry Potter image we used earlier. Again, we're just gonna shrink it down to miniature form. 
and again use contour to create the pieces of glass that will sit in between. color the glass piece blue so we place it on a different Cricut mat and we're going to make it a little bit larger so that it fits over the top of that whole area. So duplicate your glass piece and then we're going to flip it horizontally. Instead of black cardstock I've used this shiny purple paper and craft board for stability. Apply some of that glue tape, attach the glass pieces, apply a small amount of glue with a fine tipped glue bottle and stick that purple foil paper on top. Apply some more glue to stick the purple paper on top of the craft board arms. And then to jazz it up a bit, I apply these little tiny blue Demontes onto the frame. Just like with the Harry Potter frame, we're going to bend the ends like so, a couple of millimetres. Apply some glue and stick them to the frame. And our second pair of glasses are complete. Our third pair are these Ray-Ban style reflective glasses. And again, these frames are available in Cricut Design Space. Just click on the image and click insert image. Follow the same steps that you've used for the previous two glasses. I stuck some vinyl on one side of my basswood sheet. This will give it some stability, but it'll also give it a black finish. Despite all those intricate cuts, it seems to have cut pretty well. And for the reflective glasses look, I've used this sheet of adhesive mirror. Then simply glue everything together like you've done with the other pairs of glasses. I also used a black marker to colour in any of the wood areas. And glue the arms on. You shouldn't need to bend anything here because we're using wood. And our Ray-Ban glasses are done, and you can see they're completely reflective. Last up, let's make some sunglasses. Again, this design was available under Images in Cricut Design Space. And I used the same arms that I've used from the Harry Potter pair of glasses. I used black cardstock. and this sheet of wood finish for the arms. The glass pieces are also acetate, which I have colored with a brown Sharpie to give it a sunglass look. You could also use something like cellophane. I applied some glue to the arms, then carefully stuck down that wood finish sheet that I made earlier. Carefully glue our pieces of glass onto the frames then glue the second frame on top of that. End the arms one to two millimeters from the end and carefully glue the arms to the frame. And that brings us to the end of the tutorial. We'll see you next time.